hey everybody I wanted to film a quick or not quick as the case may be autumn beauty pics video I was originally going to split this up into five autumn lips and five autumn blushes and then I thought that leaves a lot of stuff out that I am really going to enjoy this autumn so I thought I'd just kind of do a mishmash free for all throw it all in stir it about extended that metaphor way too far kind of video I just wanted to do a couple of lips a couple of cheeks maybe a couple of skincare products just because it's more curated that way and I'm not just going out on a free-for-all on every single lipstick I've ever worn and being all like this is great for autumn because I tend to get overexcited a lot of the time if you wanted to know what my fragrance picks for autumn and winter are there's another video that I did a long time ago I never deviate so well, I might one day, but not now. Um, so if you're looking for fragrances, that's a separate video. So for now, let's get on with my autumn and winter beauty picks. The first thing is this Armani Maestro Fusion Makeup. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this in winter, mainly because it's really, really silky and lightweight on the skin. And I know that during winter, I tend to go for heavier textures because I can get away with them more. But... Increasingly I've been going towards lightweight, I've been moving away from really long wear products that kind of stick to your skin like they've been stapled there or super glued there and I want something that's fluid and it moves with my skin, it doesn't kind of leave brush marks or I just want it to look velvety and natural and glowing this winter rather than my usual dry long wearing self. So for me I'm definitely going to be picking up a lot of Maestro. One of my caveats with this is that it can grab to dry skin so I'm going to need to keep my skin really moisturised but I can just see this getting a lot of wear because it's got that kind of fluid velvety finish it gives you enough coverage but it feels like and feels and looks like skin and I just don't want heavy long wear foundations this winter. For blush I'm picking an old favourite this is NARS Sin which is kind of a gilded plum colour it's got this kind of pinky plum base but it's shot through with gold sparkles and it's really really beautiful. I find that with NARS blushes they often look really plain and boring in the pan and then when you put them on they're just wonderful and amazing and then suddenly the colour just transforms and for me Sin is this beautiful kind of pinky plum it's very autumnal for me it's just one of those colours which is very evocative of the colder weather and frostbitten cheeks and for that reason I have to I have to say Sin is definitely an autumn beauty pick it's just the pinkish colour that leans really, really beautifully to creating like an autumn face. I know that a lot of people go for golds and warm colours on the eyes, but I do love a deep pink cheek. I have to use this quite sparingly though, because it does end up making me look like I've got punched in the cheek if I put too much on. It just looks really over the top pantomime dame kind of thing, and it's quite terrifying. Next is a blush from Becca. I tend to go to cream textures a lot in autumn and winter because I can get away with them because of the, the air being cold and my skin being a bit drier. They don't slip and slide around as much. Um, this is a Becca cream blush and the colour is Wild Orchid. It's this beautiful plummy pink colour again. It's quite a pink colour and it's got some purple in it so it's really really beautiful again for creating that kind of frostbitten cheeks look. A bit more pink in it so if you are quite fair you have to be quite careful with this as well because it can look like you've been given a nice big slap across your cheek and it's not particularly flattering but when you use this right it looks really really beautiful for autumn weather it's just that kind of really rosy cheeked very pretty look that I always want all year round and can only have the excuse for in autumn and winter. For a highlighter I'm definitely going to be picking up Illamasqua's Gleam highlighter this is the colour Aurora it came out with the most recent collection. I guess the reason that I've picked this is because I love the way that it's really emollient and it's the same kind of premise as the cream blush really in that in winter I can get away with creamier textures because I know that they won't kind of slide across my cheek and leave glitter everywhere. This is really lovely because it's not 
really really pigmented and it diffuses to give a beautiful dewy glow it's not really kind of like glittery or really really over the top glow it's just like a kind of candle light diffused glow highlighters for me are a must in autumn winter pretty much the only time of year that i will actually stipulate that a highlighter is my beauty rule. I have to have one because I find that my skin being pale it can look quite grey and blech. So for me I love to pick a beautiful champagne highlighter like this just to perk me up and make me feel a bit less dry. I'm gonna go for eyes, just one eye product for autumn and winter. That's not to say I'm not going to wear other things, but when I thought about autumn and winter, there was just one product that stood out in my mind, and it is Burberry's eyeshadow in Rosewood. It's just that kind of rusty, leafy colour, um, which is really evocative of autumn for me. I love the idea of warm colours and golds and beautiful cranberry colours and bronzes, but in reality they make me look like I have an illness of the eyes and it's not good. So Rosewood is my warm colour and it, it is quite a cool colour actually but it has bronzy, taupey, warm brown bits in it and it's just beautiful worn all over the eye as a wash. If you've ever seen Satin Taupe by MAC this is infinitely more beautiful. It's really soft and blendable and it's a lovely eyeshadow so for me if we're going with rich tones I'm going to have to say Burberry Rosewood. For lips, I have two lipsticks. One of them is a NARS Pure Matte Lipstick and I am a huge fan of Pure Matte Lipsticks because they are matte without being really matte in the sense that they're not drying, they wear for ages but they don't feel like they're sucking the moisture out of your lips and deflating them from their usual plumpness. Um, so this is a NARS Pure Matte Lipstick, Valparaiso. It is this stunning deep kind of pinky red plum colour. It's just a really beautiful, easy to wear shade for me. I love the way that these apply because they're so slim that you don't really need a lip brush, you don't really need a lip liner. And this worn all over the lips because it's quite purpley and rich and kind of raspberry, pork plum kind of colour. I, it can come off quite vampy but I think if you if you just wear new cheeks and you taper it down for instance I wouldn't pair Sin with Valparaiso because I think it would be a bit much on me and I would look like I was on my way to the pantomime but when I pair it with nude basically nude-ish kind of makeup like a nude blush and quite neutral eyes this just looks really beautiful and it's so rich and pretty. In a similar vein I've picked Magnetism from Illamasqua which is kind of, it's kind of similar. It's a bit more sheer than Valparaiso and it's a bit more red. This is a bit more of a raspberry shade but I love these kinds of shades for winter because I feel like a, a, a true red can sometimes be a bit harsh on me in winter where my skin is so kind of grey and white and mottled <laughs> And um, I feel like sometimes a true red can look a bit harsh and a bit matte and a bit static. This has some shine to it. It's a beautiful raspberry red. It's really easy to apply. It's quite moisturising too. And the reason I like it is just because it has that richness about it, which I, is really important for me in autumn. I just love the kind of rich, pinky, kind of opulent shade. So... Illamasqua Magnetism is my absolute pick. I think it's one of my picks of the year actually. I love this lipstick. So for nails I've got one pick and it's really different to what I'd usually pick. I'm usually obsessed with things like Barry M Raspberry. This year I'm feeling slightly more, I don't know, sombre, depressed, I don't know, heading into some kind of doom laden tunnel where my, P my end of my PhD is nearly there but I'm not there yet so um, I've, I'm obsessed with navy as well. I tend to go for a lot deeper hues in autumn and winter and for some reason right now I'm obsessed with OPI Russian navy. It's this really beautiful navy colour but it has kind of purplish pink reflects in it which give it a beautiful gleam when it hits the light. So 
Um, I'm not going to lie and say that I love the wear time on this. I really generally hate OPI polishes as a rule. Um, this one is no different. It chips like a bitch on me. However, I've come to really appreciate the kind of um, the elegance of a navy nail colour. It's not quite black, and black looks quite harsh on me, but it's, I think it still looks elegant nonetheless. So, navy nails. Last things are skincare. So I'm going to start with my Emma Hardy Amazing Face Natural Lift and Sculpt Moringa Cleansing Balm. Now, this looks a bit gross because it's been in my bathroom, and also... The design, massive design flaw on this jar is that oil just kind of spills over and makes it look disgusting. But this is like luxury in a jar for cleansing my face in the evenings. I tend to double cleanse, so I use my Bioderma to get the visible makeup off and then I will go in and I will use something like this with a nice hot flannel to really cleanse off my makeup. This is a really moisturising balm. It contains all sorts of really lovely ingredients that will moisturise your skin without drying it out. And the way it works is that you scoop a little bit out. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It's like a literally an oily balm. You scoop a little bit out and you mix a little bit with some water and you put it over your face and then you use a hot flannel to remove it. And the reason I picked this is because it's moisturising, it feels like a mini spa in your home and it's kind of that blissful ah, feeling when you put the hot flannel on your face. It just feels wonderful and this is definitely one of my picks for the reason that it just won't dry my skin out. It feels great at the end of the day to use like a hot flannel when it's cold outside um, and it's just really a really luxurious cleansing product. Last skincare product, and this is a bit of a shocker for me because it's Lush, and you know that I'm not a huge fan of Lush. This is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner, and it smells sort of like jam and roses, which is what it says on the back, so eerily accurate. It looks really gross in the tub. It doesn't help that I've got finger marks in mine. But this is actually really, really good stuff. Um, you don't need as much as I thought you would need. I only use just the tiniest bit and I rub it over my skin after washing in the shower and then I just leave it on for maybe a minute or so, rinse it off and it leaves this kind of, okay, slimy, oily feeling on your skin which I'm not a huge fan of but it really makes my skin softer, it smells good and I just love, love the way this works. It's like a no fuss product. It seems like it's gimmicky, but the fact that I can use a moisturiser in the shower and I don't have to do it as a separate step is absolutely one of my favourite things. This is like my treat product. I love using this in the shower. I love coming out all moisturised, pampered and smelling good. And for winter, we all need a bit more hydration in our skin, so this is something that I think I will be repurchasing for quite a while, actually. It contains things like shea butter, Brazil nut oil, rose oil, lots of oh argan oil as well um and i think it's actually i think they're onto a winner with this so those are all of my picks for autumn and winter let me know what yours are and let me know what kind of color palette you go towards and things like that and what kind of blushes you like especially the blushes i really like blushes hopefully you enjoyed this have a lovely day go kick some leaves in the park and enjoy enjoy your evening